Let's make it a little bit trickier. We're going to keep that principle going. Where? Oh yeah, just as an aside, when I'm feeding, when I'm providing Seb with a stimulus, an attack, I want to try and make sure that it's within the right distance. And so if he does nothing, it's going to, it's going to touch. It's not going to nail him or cut him in half or anything like that, but it's going to be something that is the right distance that he needs to do something about it. Because if I'm here and I feed, that's his defense doesn't need to do anything because I'm not in the right distance unless I now lean yeah and he has to do something or I step and he has to take an adjustment so when we're a pad holder I want to be helpful in being like look I'm gonna land here cool ready and now you do something good set sweet so this is the exercise we've been doing feed whatever angle get to the elbow hold up the pad for him to provide a response Nice. Now I'm going to be a bit trickier, and as soon as I feel him starting to manipulate my arm, I'm just going to pull it out, do something else. Mm -hmm. It's up to me as the trainer with the implements how difficult I make it. So it might be hard enough just giving any angle and letting my training partner work through the steps to get to this position, and that might be the right level to stay at for this training. If they're getting 100% right, then I'm gonna add one level of difficulty, making panic a little bit. That's it. You see the smile of minor frustration happening, especially with performance pressure. You're doing great, Seb, by the way. You're doing great, man. That's really good. Hmm? Nope. There. Well, nope, that was too much. No, well, there we go, cool. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So things can escalate. But did you see the, the last one? There's like three different things or three the same things. So I can now play as a trainer. How hard can I make it? I wanted to have like 80% plus success rate for your training partner. So if out of every 10 feeds, you're nailing him one or two times, that's, that's about right. Or if you're making them struggle, not nailed him yet. Uh oh. There. I made him work harder though, right? Yeah, everything was relaxed and, and clean before. A bit more stressful now. That was good. Well done. So, as a feeder, I can make it trickier. As soon as I feel that contact, pull it back, do another one. Can be at the same angle, can be a different angle. You can get hyper tricky by faking lines. If I feel like I've not got my two out of 10 yet, my ego is starting to go low. Like that. <laughs> That's it, look low, hit high. And that becomes a lot trickier then. So it's up to you to control the difficulty for your training partner. Can we do it? Yeah. So uh, switch back, who's holding the tools? Uh, and three, two, one. Good job, man.